Pole Position, Porupogition, Porupogition is an arcade racing video game that was released by Namco in 1982 and licensed to Atari, Inc. for U.S. manufacture and distribution, running on the Namco Pole Position arcade system board. The game was designed by Toru Iwatani, who had also designed the GB Games and Pac-Man. It was the most popular coin-operated arcade game of 1983, and is considered one of the most important titles from the video arcade's golden age. Pole Position was released in two configurations, a standard upright cabinet, and an environmental, cockpit cabinet. Both versions feature a steering wheel and a gear shifter for low and high gears, but the environmental, cockpit cabinet featured both an accelerator and a brake pedal, while the standard upright one only featured an accelerator pedal. By 1983, it had become the highest grossing arcade game that year in North America, where it had sold over 21,000 machines for $61 million, $155 million in 2018, in addition to earning $450, $1,143 in 2018 weekly revenues per machine. It was the most successful racing game of the classic era, spawning ports, sequels, and a Saturday morning cartoon, although the cartoon had nothing in common with the game. The game established the conventions of the racing game genre and its success inspired numerous imitators. Pole Position is regarded as one of the most influential video games of all time and arguably the most important racing game ever made. Gameplay In this game, the player controls a Formula One race car, and has to complete a time trial lap within a certain amount of time between 90 and 120 seconds to qualify for an F1 race at the Fuji racetrack. After qualifying, the player races against seven other CPU-controlled cars in a championship race but if he or she does not qualify, the car will stay on the track until the timer runs out. The player must also avoid going off the road so that he or she will not crash into the billboards. Pole Position was the first racing video game to feature a track based on a real racing circuit. It was also the first game to feature a qualifying lap, requiring the player to complete a time trial before they can compete in Grand Prix races. Once the player has qualified, they must complete the race in the time allowed, avoiding collisions with CPU-controlled opponents and billboards along the sides of the track. The game's publisher Atari publicized the game for its unbelievable driving realism in providing a Formula One experience behind a racing wheel. The game's graphics featured full-color landscapes with scaling sprites, including race cars and other signs, and a pseudo-3D, third-person, rear-perspective view of the track, with its vanishing point swaying side to side as the player approaches corners, accurately simulating forward movement into the distance. Development For manufacture and distribution in the United States, Namco approached Bally Midway with a choice of two games in 1982. Bally Midway chose Mappy while Atari was left to publish Pole Position, which turned out to be the most popular game of 1983. The game ran on the Namco Pole Position hardware, which was the first to use 16-bit microprocessors, with two Zilog Z8002 processors. It was also capable of displaying up to 3,840 colors. Topic advertising The game was an early example of product placement within a video game, with billboards around the track advertising actual companies. However, some billboards were specific to the two versions, such as those of Pepsi and Canon in the Namco version, and those of 7-Eleven, Dentine, Centipede, and Dig Dug in the Atari version, which replaced such billboards as those of Marlboro and Martini and Rossi, who, although they were prominent motorsport sponsors at the time, would be found inappropriate in the American market for a game aimed towards children. Other billboards appeared in both versions. The game was also featured in a TV commercial shown only on MTV. It was part of a series of TV spots that Atari created in the 1980s exclusively for MTV. Topic: Reception and Legacy. Electronic Games reviewed the original arcade version in 1983, writing that it keeps the action on track from start to finish with challenging play, noting that the gameplay is reasonably faithful to real life Formula One races. They also praised the sound effects and 
solid, realistic graphics, stating it has very rich color images and dimensional depth to the graphics. They gave it the 1983 Arcade Award for Coin Op Game of the Year, stating that, for the first time in the amusement parlors, a first-person racing game gives a higher reward for passing cars and finishing among the leaders rather than just for keeping all four wheels on the road, thus making driving an art. They also praised the beautiful graphics and breathtaking scenery as well as the two-heat format for the race itself. Computer and Video Games also reviewed the arcade version in 1983, writing that it is simply the most exhilarating driving simulation game on the market. They compared it favorably with Turbo, stating that, while Turbo featured better landscapes, it can't match the speed, thrills and skill behind this new race game. They said pole positions. Graphics are sophisticated and believable. Noting that cars Turning corners are shown in every graphic detail of the maneuver, and praised the gameplay, concluding that trying to hold a screaming curve or overtake offers thrills to compare with the real racetrack. Infoworld stated that pole position for the Atari 8-bit is by far the best road race game ever thrown on a video screen, with bright and brilliant graphics, but that the Commodore 64 version looks like a rush job and is far from arcade game quality." When reviewing the Atari 5200 version, Hi-Rez in 1984 found, "...the playability of the game to be limited and the graphics to be the strongest aspect of the game." The magazine preferred Adventure International's Rally Speedway to both Pole Position and Epix's Pitstop. Entertainment Weekly called Pole Position one of the top ten games for the Atari 2600 in 2013. In 2015, Pole Position topped IGN's list of the top 10 most influential racing games ever. They stated that it had a drastically better looking third person view than Turbo, was the first racing game based on a real world racing circuit, Fuji Speedway in Japan, introduced checkpoints, and was the first to require a qualifying lap, and that its success, as the highest grossing arcade game in North America in 1983, cemented the genre in place for decades to come and inspired a horde of other racing games. <laughs> Ports Pole Position was ported to a number of home computers and consoles, by Atarisoft in the early 1980s. In the mid-1990s Pole Position made a comeback on Windows PCs when it was included as part of Microsoft Return of Arcade, and later appeared on the PlayStation, Nintendo 64, and Dreamcast systems in Namco Museum Vol. 1. Since that time, Pole Position has been included in many subsequent Namco Museum releases, such as on the PlayStation 2 GameCube, Game Boy Advance, and Xbox. Fuji Speedway was renamed to Namco Speedway. In the museum releases and the plug and play versions, except in Namco Museum Virtual Arcade which renamed it to Blue Speedway, and the 2004 Ms. Pac-Man plug and play TV game released by Jax Pacific and developed by Hotgun Studios, which changed the billboards to advertise the four other featured games. A version of Pole Position was released for iPod on January 21, 2008. Topic Legacy Topic Sequels Pole Position Two was released in nineteen eighty three and featured three additional courses in addition to the original Fuji track. It features slightly improved graphics, as well as a different car color scheme and opening theme. Several new billboards have also been introduced. While many considered the three-screened Racer TX-1, released in 1984 by Atari and designed by Tatsumi to be a sequel to Pole Position 2, the true sequel arrived in 1987 with the release of Final Lap, which may be considered an unofficial Pole Position 3. 
Final Lap would later spawn a racing RPG spin-off for the TurboGrafx-16 video game console called Final Lap Twin in 1989 as well as three directly related arcade sequels, Final Lap 2 in 1990, Final Lap 3 in 1992, and Final Lap R in 1993. On September 14, 2008, a version of Pole Position was released for iOS devices called Pole Position – Remix. The game features upgraded graphics and several different control methods, but remains similar in content to the original. This version of Pole Position also features the tracks from Pole Position 2 and a new track called Masaki Point. The game has since been removed from the App Store. Other media The title spawned a Saturday morning cartoon of the same name. Pole Position is played by the characters Daryl and Turtle in the motion picture Daryl and is one of the first times in the film where Daryl a seemingly normal boy who is actually an android displays some of his superhuman abilities by earning an amazingly high score in the game. The game is featured in the music video of the 1984 heavy metal song. Free Wheel Burning by Judas Priest. <laughs>